Eco-safe driving is a style of driving that has road safety benefits and at the same time reduces fuel consumption and emissions. Road safety is enhanced by encouraging forward planning. Employing hazard perception and planning skills, you can make the best use of the vehicle's physical characteristics. By making use of the car's momentum, engine braking and torque, you can reduce the negative effects on the environment. Harsh acceleration, late braking and stop-start driving all increase fuel consumption and wear and tear. At the end of your test, the examiner will make any necessary comments on your driving style relating to planning and control and eco-safe driving. Other ways to save fuel include keeping within the speed limit, slow down generally, it is not necessary to be constantly driving to the limit, plan your route to avoid congestion and roadworks, consider using public transport, if the journey is short, consider walking or cycling. On this lesson we're going to look at an eco-safe drive-in style. By developing your hazard perception skills, we can help you plan your actions and therefore lead to smoother acceleration, less harsh braking, and uh, in general just a planned use of the gears and generally reducing the strain on the engine. Does this mean I'll have to drive slowly? No, not at all, because uh, with well-planned actions it means there'll be less stopping and starting and your journey time can in fact be decreased. And it's the stopping and starting which tends to be called a, a major user of fuel. Okay. What we do is we'll, uh, we'll look at a few examples. So if you'd like to pull away when you're ready. steady pace, I'm not necessarily going to be travelling that much slower. Now can we follow the road ahead of these lines? Now just ease off the gas, using the engine braking to slow down. As best if possible, while you're stopping, just keep it in the higher gear and then select the gear that's appropriate. So if, while you're approaching then, the lights have changed, we could possibly have gone to second and not actually stopped, but it all depends on the timing of the lights. Do you think you've got an opportunity to keep going? 
Yes, if no oncoming traffic. Okay, so we can then keep going in third gear. If it suits the situation. Um, acceleration in increasing speed and now select fifth gear and here we're maintaining a nice steady speed so we're not wasting any fuel at all. Maintain the speed, the higher speed, until almost the last moment, and then braking hard would be very wasteful because you need fuel to build up that speed and then braking just to immediately take the energy away. So, in turn, be wasting a lot of fuel. Okay, you see, because it's a fairly open road, we're in fifth gear. 